Today, I'm going to be drawing and painting a cup of coffee. Artist Rebecca L.S., the channel that inspires you every day. Subscribe or I'll throw paint at you. To help my channel out more, subscribe, like the video and watch a playlist or two. And this suggestion comes to us from subscriber Naptime Creations. Thanks so much for the prompt. Let's get into it. And so I'm starting off with pre-sketching with my mechanical pencil and it's a 0.9mm lead and we start doing the cup and I'm doing a large one because who doesn't love large cups of coffee? It took me a while to actually get the angle right particularly of the handle and of the actual inside of the cup to make it look like you could see the liquid inside but also that it wasn't tilted if that makes sense. I wanted it to be straight, so it is a little awkward. And then I inked it using my Faber-Castell pit marking pen, and then erased all of the graphite lines and started going in with a vibrant pink. And I'm using my gouache, which is by Arteza. And I'm then using the heat gun to dry that layer before I then go in with a shocking pink which is basically like a highlighter one of those fluorescent pinks but you know it's not too fluorescent because you couldn't scan it otherwise if you scan fluorescents they don't come out this one actually is okay and then i added the white to just dampen that down a bit and make it a bit duller and to give more dimension we then dried that and then I got my Prismacolor pencils, but before I used them, I then used my Pit permanent pen to add a little bit more black detail before I then go in with my brown Prismacolor pencils, going from light to dark and using the black as well. And you could see I did a line in the coffee because I'm trying to do the dark where the bubbles are and the light meeting it and trying to kind of blend it together so that you don't actually see a line of separation but it kind of mixes together and I was doing this in layers building them up and then blending and then adding more color and blending and then adding a little white which I feel has given a lovely milky coffee effect to everything because I went over particularly the brown um, really blending and over the bubbles to help them stand out a little more and now I'm going to leave you to watch while I finish this off. Click the two videos on screen now and when you do, you're going to get even more inspiration.